welcome to What's Cooking. I'm Lisa Glickman. You know when you have people over for dinner and you want to put out a little something before you serve dinner while you're finishing things up? You usually put out some cheese and crackers or something. Well, we're taking cheese to a whole new place today with my fried Kisseri cheese with brandy and lemon. Now, this is melty and delicious and easy and impressive. So you're going to love this appetizer. This is Kisseri cheese. And Kisseri cheese is a Greek cheese. It's predominantly sheep's milk cheese, a little bit of goat milk in there too, but it's a harder cheese, similar to Parmesan cheese. So I've taken this out of the refrigerator and just let it soften a little bit, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes before. So we're gonna open the cheese up and then we're going to dredge it in some flour and some egg. So here is the cheese and then I'm gonna crack this egg in a bowl so that I can put the egg and the flour mixture on the outside of the cheese. So we crack our egg in the bowl and we want to mix it up pretty well. Make sure that that's all mixed together. And over here I have a pan that I've put on medium high heat and I've added about a tablespoon or so of butter. Now that butter has had a chance to get a little bit nice and brown. That's going to add nuttiness to our cheese. So we're going to go ahead and dip this into the flour. Just give a little light coat on the outside of it and then into the egg and then we're going to dip it into the flour again. Put a nice crust on the outside. That's going to give it that nice crispness that we want once we pan fry it. Yum! Okay, then into the pan it goes. And you want this on a pretty medium high heat. We're going to go ahead and turn up that heat a little bit and I'm going to brown it on both sides. So it's going to take about probably about four or five minutes per side. You want to get it nice and brown and have a nice golden brown crust on it. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Oh wow, look at that beautiful brown crust on the outside and that brown butter. Now I'm going to be using brandy today. There's a dish in Greek restaurants, it's called saganaki, and um, they usually use ouzo on top of that. Ouzo is kind of a licorice flavored liqueur, and I don't happen to have a bottle of ouzo laying around. But I also love it. I've had it done with brandy in other restaurants, and I think you're going to love the brandy because the brandy is just a nice sweet flavor, not quite as strong and, and, um, and straightforward as the ouzo licorice flavor. So the next thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a pan in your oven that's nice and preheated and we're going to use a platter that is heat resistant because we're going to put this melted cheese right on top of that platter. So here I have a little stainless steel platter that I've got nice and warm. I mean this is really quite hot to the touch. You know you could use like a pie pan or something like that. Anything that is heat resistant that you can put in the oven and go ahead and let it heat up for quite some time. So look at our cheese. We've got it nice and melty. Look at that inside of it. It's nice and soft. We're just going to go ahead. Now comes the really fun part. This is where we're going to light it on fire. Any food that you light on fire is impressive, let's face it. So well, that's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and take this melty cheese and we're going to dump it right onto this nice warm platter. And on top of that, we have about two tablespoons of brandy that we're going to pour right over the top of that. Look at that and then, woo! Look how impressive is that? Come on. If you mean to light food on fire, it's really impressive. If you don't mean to light it on fire, it's not so impressive. Now, we want to use that fire to go ahead and burn off the alcohol on that brandy. And as soon as that's burned off, we take a little bit of lemon, a half a lemon, and we just squeeze that right over the top. That acidity is going to add such a beautiful flavor to this cheese. You are going to love this. How fun is that? That all we have to do is just cut that right into pieces and we serve it right on our nice crusty bread over here. I'm Lisa Glickman. You can find me at my website, lisaglickman.com. And I'm the homegrown chef in every issue of 1859 Magazine. It's on newsstands or at 1859oregonmagazine.com where you can find all these recipes under food and wine. Click Homegrown Chef.